to call it. So let's do it. Let's call another number. Alright. So, zero. One. Nine. One. Two. Nine. Four. One. Four. Four. Let's call it. Good day, the National Bank of Northumberland. Robert Blake speaking. Hello, Robert. I need some help. Do you have a customer there registered as Christopher Edward Milton? He's a doctor. I'm sorry, sir. I can't give you that kind of information. It's all right. I work in the hospital with him. My name is Dr. Mike Rutherford. Which hospital would that be, sir? Rothbury Health and Care Medical Center. Please hold on a few moments. I'm sorry, sir. I see we had someone call that a few years ago, but everything in the files has been removed. It had seemed he's no longer a customer of this bank. Oh, I see. Good old Christopher still playing pranks on me, that old joker. <laughs> Sir, you said your name was... Um, I won't waste your time anymore. Good day. Do I have to call the number again? Okay. Zero... One... The old question, I'm calling them again immediately afterwards. Asking for someone different. Two, nine, four, one, four, four. Here we go. Oh, you again. If you persist, I shall have to inform the authorities. All right, all right, relax. to do from there. <laughs> Actually, I guess that I can always check the newspapers for some reason after these events, regardless of what just happened. Let's go upstairs. Let's flip, and I guess that we have to check the newspapers for a third time, which I guess makes sense. I guess there was a new date added? Maybe? Possibly? Uh, newspapers, here I come. Look for any worthwhile news in the credits of May, August, went through the news during June 1963, that's what we're looking for. This article wasn't as informative as I had hoped, but there was a phone number scribbled on the page. Ooh, okay, so it's Bailey. I'll take that in a second after I read it. Following the shocking news that uh, uh, the news that became pub public knowledge last week, we must now inform about the sinister outcome of the story that we had been in the mind of every citizen of our town these past few days. Mr. James Blackwood has died at the age of 56 due to a heart attack allegedly because of the pressure and stress caused by the astonishing accusations of Mrs. Eva Mar Mariana, former maid of the family. This puts a sudden end to the case deferred by the authorities. Police Chief William Bailey said, It saddens me that Mr. Blackwood was never brought to a proper trial. No matter what kind of excuses could be possible made, the death of, Mr. of Mrs. Catherine Blackwood is in fact, I'm fully convinced that he was guilty. Dr. Christopher Milton is said to be taking care of a funeral that nobody will attend, and all the blinds of the Blackwood family are now in his possession. Silently, Ruthbury returns to his daily life, turning the page over in one of the darkest chapters. Many will wonder for years to come what really happened inside Blackwood Manor. Mail train robbery, well over one million. A senior police spokesman said last night that the toll hall in yesterday's mail train robbery was clearly well over one million euros. More than 500,000 euros in the belongings of the National Provisional Bank. Here's the phone number though, I'm gonna write it down. Uh, let's see, uh, d -d 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 I guess she got a text document open. Hello, text document. Eh. 
Okay, tax document. Let's see, it's zero one six six five six five two. I think it's a one seven. Okay, got the number. Let's turn around. Go downstairs and see what we can do. So many twists and so many turns. Calling the number for Bailey as we go. This leads us to turn around this way. So many twists and turns. The fastest way to the phone would be this way. go. And now the phone will be over here. Let's call this newly obtained number for Bailey. Alright, dial another number. Zero. What I believe is a one. And two sixes. Four, five, six. 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 And a five. And another six. And another five. Two, a one, and I believe it ends off on seven. Let's see if I'm right. Who is this? Hi, are you Mr. William Bailey? That's me, and you are? Yes, my name is Michael Arthur. I'm a journalist for a local newspaper in Rothbury. Well, you're the former police chief of this town, aren't you? Indeed. I served many years ago. And you were once in charge of a famous, or should I say, infamous case here? Oh, bloody hell. Don't tell me this is about James Blackwood. Well, yes. I'm writing a story for my newspaper. Um, the most famous police cases of Northumberland. Have you got any idea how many times I've talked about this? <laughs> information about Blackwood there. Please, Mr. Bailey, I beg you. It won't be the same if I can have the information from someone who was there, and no less than the renowned William Bailey of Rothbury. Oh, all right, son, spare me the nonsense. What is it you want to know? Well, in the first place, what did Ava Mariani see exactly? She saw enough, son. James Blackwood was dragging a shape into a hole in the garden. At first, Mrs. Mariani couldn't realize what it was, but eventually she made out the dead body of Catherine Blackwood with a serious wound. And Blackwood was automatically deemed guilty? He was found digging his wife's son. Why did James Blackwood never appear before a jury? When you're someone as renowned and famed as James Blackwood was, you can pretty much avoid the authorities. However, you can't avoid justice. Was brought upon James Blackwood. Justice? How? He died shortly after the accusation. You should know about that. What happened to Dr. Christopher Milton? How should I know? You bet your life that slimy worm was up to something. I couldn't prove it, though I spent years investigating him. A shame we couldn't implicate him as much as James Blackwood. Are you saying he could have had something to do with the murder? Blackwood and Milton were very intimate. Milton did the impossible to aid his friend, and even clear his name after he died. You do the math. And was ever determined the cause of death of Catherine Blackwood? Yes, partly. Mrs. Mariani managed to see her throat was slit open. Ripped, she would say. It must have been horrible for the poor girl. Still. Everything sounds so vague, as if something were missing. Are you questioning my performance on this case, son? <laughs> no, 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 sir, not at all. I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, why a proper autopsy was never done. An autopsy to whom? Please, sir, this is very important to me, and I could really use your help. I'm trying to fit all the pieces of this mystery together. Mystery? 
You must be one of those people that just love splitting hairs, don't you? I don't think I understand, sir. Listen, son. That cold-blooded bastard murdered his wife, God knows why. But he and his fancy doctor did the impossible to hamper our investigations. You don't have to be a brilliant detective to realize Blackwood did it. There's always a reason behind a murder. Nobody has ever found out why Blackwood did what he did. Psychopaths don't need any reasons. And James Blackwood turned into one. Precisely. There's got to be something else. I can't believe Blackwood flipped just like that one sunny day. It doesn't make any sense. People flip, son. You can be flipping right now without knowing it. <laughs> <sighs> well then, tell me how Blackwood reacted when you pulled his wife from beneath the ground. I beg your pardon. I mean Catherine Blackwood's body when you dug in the garden of the manor. Like I said, they hampered the investigation. We never managed to set one foot inside the manor. What kind of bloody journalist are you, son? <laughs> but are you telling me you never actually retrieved the body? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Now, if you don't mind. But, but wait, th this doesn't make any sense. Stop wasting my time, damn it. I was enjoying my retirement until you had the brilliant idea of calling me. I don't want to hear anything else about this case ever again. Please, Mr. Bailey, don't... Leave me alone. It's kind of weird that nobody ever thought about looking for a body. I guess I need to go dig up my garden. What's fun? Yep, I ruined the rest of his life. It's okay though. He wasn't very nice anyway. So, yeah. I... Apparently, the lair will be here now. And then we're off back to blind territory. Well, hopefully, the lair will give us some good hint, or else I have no idea what I'm doing. Turn the water on. I haven't repaired the pipes. I don't know why I did that yet. I just know I have. Here's a letter. Even though I was anxious to read the letter, I tried to remind myself that I should give a raise to my efficient assistant. Dear Mother. What? Oh, this is what the letter said, right? April 28, 1963. Dear Mother, I spent the whole morning running a few errands for the Blackwood family, and on the way back, many thoughts crossed my mind. I take back what I said. I wanted to return home. Things haven't gotten any better here. Everyone is behaving mysteriously, and they try to avoid me. I do understand that they must still be disturbed about the death of their son, but it has been almost two years since that already. I feel like an alien. I don't belong here anymore. I find it hard to sleep at night. There's too much activity in this house, too much moving around, and that is unnerving me. I feel something terrible is going on here, and I want to go as far away as possible. I will miss Mr. or Mrs. Blackwood dearly, as she has always been kind to me, but I'm afraid my health is at stake, and I've been seeing some strange things too. I can't explain it, but I think someone did something very wrong. The Dr. Milton would often come talk to with a sir for many hours, and nobody would have allowed me to upstairs, although I've been secretly taking pictures there. I hope this doesn't upset you, but don't worry, they are well hidden under a loose board beneath my bedside table. Please, Mother, forgive me. I know I should have listened to you. It's not like I'm stubborn. I just want to wait and see if things would get any better for myself. They haven't. And that's why I'm asking you for a place to stay with uh, until I sort my situation. Call me as soon as you can. I usually have to stay in town until 5 o'clock, but lately I've been coming back about an hour earlier. I just want to leave this place. I confess that I'm scared. I'll be waiting. Please hurry. With love, Eva. Eva. And okay, loose floorboard. Got it. That is knowledge, which means by the bed still. There's only two rooms I can think of. It's not the doctor's room, obviously, the room which I haven't been sleeping in. The 
first room is I think that the maid's room was the back room by the bathroom. It's also where the photograph is and all that, so that's obviously the guest room, the maid's room, if you will. Okay. Do what I can as I open these doors, so it must be a loose plank in this other room. It's probably this room that contains what we want to see. Loose board by the bed still, which would be over here. There we go. What's that photograph show? Oh, it's the area, it's the pink place you took the picture of where he buried the body. Where is that? Do I have a shovel? <laughs> I don't know. shovel at all, and I don't quite know where that is. But, yeah, I... Let me look at the picture one more time. Let's try and get a good look at it. I think I kind of have an idea of where it would be. So it's in the middle of a rocky area like that. Maybe I can do it without a shovel. Let me just try before I start relying on things too much. Let's go on the outside. Yep, time to click around the yard until something happens. That's the spirit. It'd be the back here, not the front yard, obviously. So I think this kind of looks like it's it. Looking to see where the body's buried. Was it here that <laughs> happened? I don't know. Let me click that. I know, dig the body with my bare hands. I'm just looking for where the body might be. I'm not sure if it's this part of the yard, it just kind of looks like it. A fork and a spoon. Okay. Is it over here? <laughs> this body will be found. My immense author strength is sense where the body's been buried. It's their special ability or something to find killed things. Things that are dead in the ground. Yeah. Looked up a walkthrough instead of skimming around for bodies. Apparently I did things way ahead of time. I already did the hammer and thing and all that. I've already restored water to the facility, but apparently something I could have done fucking ages ago if I had just known I could have used the fucking oil can to open up the greenhouse. I mean, I guess it makes sense. The crypt was super easily opened, but I guess I just for some reason didn't try that. Despite the fact the pretty sure I said it was rusty. Even though I already returned water, I did that forever ago as well. Apparently you can do a lot of what I'm doing in whatever order you desire. Just I was doing it in that order. I went a little bit out of order of the guide I've been following, but I wasn't really looking at the guide non-stop until recently because I was getting confused and every single time I get to a thread it seems to empty there. And it seems like the reason it empties is because there's all these things I can be doing right now that are all leading to the same result. So I'm going to open up this I'm going to go to the fucking greenhouse. I'm just going to go there because apparently I just needed to oil the door and that's A-OK. -okay. Actually, no, I think they probably buried the body. It's probably over here, isn't it? Or something like this, because this area seems to have no purpose right now. Oh, I'll get back to that when I first go inside the greenhouse. Ah! 
Greenhouse, let's roll. Apparently all I needed to do to open you this whole entire time was to take this oil can and oil you. I poured some oil on the hinges of the door and hoped that would reduce the rust. And it did. Congratulations. A thick mist struck me in the eyes as I entered the barren greenhouse, and the smell of blonde-dried plants and dirt permitted the air. Well, let's start looking around. Several pots were scattered here and there. A few had pathetic plants in them. That's quite the word to describe a plant there. Pathetic. I like the greenhouse music. Alright, there's obviously a shiny sitting right here as bright as can be. There was some kind of shiny object beneath the grating. Whatever it was, there's was no way I could reach it. Uh, can I use the can? This was pointless. Can I use the crowbar? I tried using the crowbar as a lever to lift the panel of the grain, but I was solidly welded to the rest. Need to be oiled. How about the screwdriver? That wasn't useful. How about the pliers? That wasn't useful. Ugh. Hammer! That was pointless. Uh, ice pink. That wasn't useful. Knife! I have so much to mess with now. No, I could have hurt myself. Okay, I'll look around more. An imposing but dead tree adorned the center of the greenhouse. Impressively dead is one way to be impressive still, though. Don't hate, just because it's different. Uh, nothing here. There's a odd plant here, I guess. One of the pots had collapsed brain is contents all over the concrete floor. around. I know there's an upstairs, and I'll look at the upstairs briefly, but I'm first making sure there isn't anything over here. Is this just a useless corner I can stand in? I think not. Or maybe I do think that's actually what it is. Well, I can go over here and investigate this stuff there, at least. Several pots are scattered here and there. There's a few pathetic plants in them. How about this corner? Oh, there's something here, isn't there? A huge plot containing a bush had fallen in the drain. Oh wait, I could flush the key out, couldn't I? How did I move this? That was pointless. That wasn't useful. I get rid of the fucking tree. <laughs> I think I have the right idea. Hammer it down. No. I'm thinking you could flush something down one of the right drains to make it pop up in the right place. Maybe that's just me overthinking it. Or maybe it's me just giving the right amount of thought. Or not the right direction of thought. I'll check upstairs first. The upper walkway was livelier than down be than below due to several plants that had somehow managed to subsist on it. Is that the shovel I goddamn need? There was a shovel in the painter, but it was stuck in the soil. Do I oil it? <laughs> Didn't have to be oiled. Pfft, what's what you think? Gain the goddamn shovel out. I need to dig up the body or whatever the fuck it is I'm thinking about doing. Several pots were scattered here and there. A few had pathetic plants in them. We've said that a few times, actually. Let's check over here in Plantsville. February 7th. As much as I regret it, I've decided to stop caring for the greenhouse. All my efforts to save the plants have been in vain. I just can't seem to figure out what is wrong with them. It has been a few weeks since they began falling apart to, peer to pieces, dying without any apparent cause. Some of them would just crumble in the slightest touch. This is not only frustrating, but very unsettling. Every time. Yeah. Let's see. This is not only frightening, but unsettling. Every time I enter this place, I can feel a sense of dread and decay. What I most regret is the condition of the rare plant I brought from South Africa. It's now all sad-looking and almost dried up. I will take it upstairs and look after it, hoping it will get more sunlight. Assuming everyone, everything has been happening as a natural explanation. Death is surrounding this place, and I can't seem to do anything about it, in spite of my concerns. I can't help thinking that all of this began when I brought that 
I wonder. No, I have to put those thoughts aside. I should stop reading all those sinister books that are getting under my skin. What if that, like, the person just hates my books and is haunting me? The plan is top of secret, an open bag fertilizer was lying on the table, you don't say. The watering can was of no use to me, and I had no plans to try to revive one of the plants. Old extinguisher. Ooh, hedge clippers. I can do that for the tree downstairs. Anything else inside this drawer? No, oh, just these notes. Okay. Anything more in this direction? Besides a hefty place to jump down? I think not. I do, however, though, have an idea. Take these magical hedge clippers. And I'm gonna clip some hedges. I moved a few branches and leaves, clearing the corner of the drain. Huge pie had fallen to the drain. Well, that seemed right, but the fuck did I even do? Since I restored water, I feel like I need to get water going inside the drain. But... How do I get the water going? <laughs> I feel so stupid. There has to be like something here that activates the water. Where do you think the water activation is? I think it'll be upstairs? Because it's definitely what I'm supposed to do. Supposed to turn the water on. Well, let's see where the control for the water is. I'll jump off the greenhouse. Uh, yeah, can I pick this up from another angle actually? There's this miscellaneous stuff there. A large hose is lying on the walkway. I can pick up part of the hose, what I pick up? Ah! Making magic happen! By clicking things. Let's see where the shovel go, or the shovel. So I made the hose go downstairs. It's a very lawn winded way, but sure. Hose goes. Ooh, I see. There's a faucet here. Aha! Magic comes in many forms. Okay, I'll get back to that. First, I'll go up here. And I'm gonna see if I drain the shovel enough. Okay, I need to water the soil more. It seems to be timed, actually. That's a very odd angle for a hose to try and fill up. I'll first try and see if I can get this key as I flood out the shovel soil. Eh, I guess the drainage leads outside. That's what it looks like at the very least. Oh, you know where I bet where it goes? Wanna know where I bet where the drainage goes? I bet drainage leads over here to that pool of water we looked at earlier and I had no idea what it was for. That would make sense, wouldn't it? There it is, I see it. What was it? There's a key! Aha! That's about what I expected, actually. I've been through a lot to get that small key. Now the question is, where does the key go? Let me get that goddamn shovel. I think I flood the shovel enough that society to become unhinged. Let's roll. Through the old greenhouse. So the stairs that go up 
if I can go around the building. <laughs> You know, if it is overflowing, it should probably have water trickling down from here because it'd be coming out from where the shovel is. Let's keep it there, and shovel obtained! Ah. Let's do it! So I think we have everything that we need to do around here. I'm just gonna do one last ski. There were two things that struck my nerve. Was there anything else here? Was there really nothing else here at all, though? There's those pages. I already kind of knew that. There's just an old refrigerator. The wiring cannon was no use to me as I had no plans to revive any of those plants. An open bag fertilizer. That top of the tail was strangely attractive. Idea. Cut it. Oh my god. Okay. That. Okay, is there anything else I missed here? Like, maybe I can cut this tree here. The branch is a huge tree. Walking in the upper walkway is very difficult. Can I cut it? That wasn't useful. That means, why was that? Is there any other growing plants here? Sir, are there any plants that are growing? No. Okay. Maybe downstairs. I took some from there. Is there anything here? Can I use these here? That wasn't useful. That means what? Never mind. Actually, maybe it's this branch. This, no, I can't even look at it. I like, think you'd be able to look at something weird and branching out like that, but what do I know? Let's go down the stairs. Now, as he suggested in the chat, that maybe the key is for that cabinet from earlier, and that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. I was trying to think, is there what, what else is locked? I wouldn't have thought of that. I probably would have eventually looked at the walkthrough, but I think as he's right there. I think the suggestion is a solid, probably right suggestion. I'd actually completely forgotten about it. So, yeah. I... Uh, we came from that way, so I think we're going... Way this way. There we go. House. We sure spent some time out there, didn't we? Let's go investigate what we can. Through the door. So let's see if the idea here is suggest is actually correct. Open up the door. This actually might be it. It seems right to me because the only door I can think of that hasn't been opened that needs a key or something of the sort. So let's try and use this, not the shovel. Yeah, use the shovel to break that open. I think it's this key. We're right. Alright, there's a note. March 21st, 1963. Dear Catherine, first of all, I beg you to take the utmost care in order to keep this letter away from James. I don't like to think of the mental breakdown he would suffer if he reads this. You know James much better than I do, so you must share my conviction that he'd never harm anything, but even so, I'd ask you to be careful whenever he's around, at least until we sort out the situation. He has been especially unstable lately, speaking about his determination to suppress the so-called curse. I truly fear for him and his, for his sanity. I still wouldn't say he qualifies as dangerous, but just in case, be cautious. I've been playing the role of an ally who believes in James, and so far I think I've done a good job in convincing him. But I'm afraid it won't last for too much longer. I can't do all the things he's now asking me to do. He has been del delving into some very obscure acts and uh, wants to begin as a hobby. What began as a hobby has now become a dangerous obsession. He wants to perform an African ritual on the awful mask he brought. He's convinced he has released an ancient spirit which will harm everything he loves and cares for. It's all so utterly insane that I'm ashamed to translate this into words. My biggest fear is that I will end up losing my own uh, mind along with his. I have to put an end to all of this. About the other issue, you should know I've gone over it. Catherine, what we all did two years ago, the decisions we made and knew would affect the course of our lives, has been haunting in my sleep ever since then. I know you must be the one more affected by this, but you won't understand all that has been going through my head. The confusion, the contradiction, 
now more now more than ever i'm not sure whether it was the right decision or not but there's no turning back and we must face the consequences all i wanted to say about that or this is that i'm deeply sorry if i behaved erratically these past days and unnerved you you have any word you have any word i won't ever reveal anything whatever you do with this lair make sure james doesn't feel anything suspicious i'd rather have you destroy this thing extreme situations require extreme measures christopher uh there, what's that that's the lair i just read 